Hi, I'm Ted Bear. Welcome to my channel, Communicating with Your Dog. In this video, I'm going to go over rule number nine of 15 important rules that you should establish in your household and integrate into your training because you want an obedient dog. You'll have family members and regular guests in your house. You'll have to teach them some of these rules. By the way, you'll find links to all the rules, all my videos, down in the description section below. I suggest you check out the first video on the importance of sharing a language with your dog. Most people think that having an obedient dog is beyond their reach, but I can tell you, you can train your dog to be obedient and terrific. Rule number nine, ask only the possible from your dog. If you're asking your dog to fetch your mail carrier, you're allowing your dog to fail. Your mail carrier is much too heavy and I'm sure very unwilling. You shouldn't expect and ask your dog to do a 10 minute stay if you haven't taught your dog to do shorter stays or jump over a four foot fence if you haven't taught your dog to jump shorter objects first. If you're working on the retrieve, I suggest you only use your dog's favorite toys until you get it down. And then if you want to introduce new objects that are non-toy objects, make sure you teach your dog to hold the objects first before you teach your dog to retrieve it. I hope all these examples point out the obvious conclusion here. Teach your dog gradually and ask only the possible. You want to ask only the possible out of your dog. You want to stress the positive and allow your dog only to succeed. The complicated tricks you saw in Tundra's montage came about from a gradual training process. Let's take for instance, when we taught Tundra to drop an object in a particular place. We initially taught Tundra just to hold an object and it would be like a favorite toy. Then we taught her to drop it. Next, we taught her to stand leaning over a box and drop it. Then we backed her up about two feet, gently guided her forward and had her drop it from that short distance. Eventually, we increased the distance. And once she got that down, then we just started shrinking the drop area where she should drop it, made the drop zone smaller and smaller. Can you imagine, you can take this example yourself and teach all your dogs to collect the dog toys that are scattered around your house and drop them into a box near their dog bed or whatever. And it will help you out a lot and your dogs will have a great time doing it. When you slip up and ask your dog to do something beyond their ability and you know you're in trouble, either allow your dog to do a portion of it or physically aid your dog in succeeding. Follow it with just a shower of praise so your dog knows that they're the best dog in the whole wide world. Uh, your experience will help you avoid giving commands like that in the future that get you into trouble. Because you know to follow rule number nine and ask only the possible. Please give me a thumbs up and watch my other videos. Uh, my book, Communicating with Your Dog, is available on Amazon. It outlines a simple communication system for you to share with your dog.